Today I will be seeing if Proxamia Centauri is useful or not. Watch the how to go to Proxamia B video in my channel to get to Proxamia Centauri. You will spawn in space above Kamnu and make sure you have these things, you need the materials to colonize and if you do not know how to colonize watch my how to colonize and terraform video. Time to jump! Looks like someone made a base, but I will make my own. When you placed your drills down, place down your depot and connect the drills to it. But I'ma do the factories first though. Okay now connect the factories to the depot. Find a gas hotspot and place a fracker there. Place a mill, and connect it and the fracker to the depot. <laughs> Lastly when you are done with the base you want to place your spawn down. Now I need to make a ship and explore the rest of the star system. Hello there sir. Guys, let's make everything public. Hello. Hello there Elia. Oh, yeah. Welcome to my base. Nice base. Wanna be allies? Sure. So I became allies with him and finished my rocket. Time to travel around Nemu. Nemu is all frozen at the dark side of the planet because an IRL Nemu slash Proxamia B has its rotation locked. I think this is a cool feature in the game. By the way, Nemu is named after a god from Egypt like the rest of the Proxamia objects. All the names do not exist in IRL though. Next is Thoth, a fake Proxamia dwarf planet located next to Nemu. Thoth is a dwarf planet located in Proxamia Centauri. This is a fake dwarf planet though. However Thoth has an amazing feature. You may want to bring explosive charges for this. But QA's Thoth has balls of lightning. Balls of lightning are used for alien engines, just by placing them inside of the alien processor. More to explain in the previous video. I found a ball of lightning, but it blasted off to the other side of the planet. No more worrying, if I was you I would bring an alien processor to Proxamia Centauri. Now it is Hathor's turn, located just next to Proxamia. Hathor, the weekly messenger. Hathor, slash Proxamia D, is like Mercury. Hathor has no gas and has a decrease of water. Like Mercury, Hathor has water at the poles. That means I am gonna go to the poles to make my base. I finally found a water and metal hot sod, time to place down the drill. This will take a long time, I need my ally to help me out with this. Me and my ally made a base and got a drone to give us gas. Now I have completed colonizing Hathor. Lastly, it is Osiris and its moon, Nephthys. Osiris's size is 6144 studs, 2 times the size of Hathor. I needed my ally to bring me to Osiris since I ult in his base. I had no ship so he brang me there. Osiris is Proxamia C and the planet has 3 rings, to compact it very close to the planet and the last one way past its heavyweight moon, Nephthys. Nephthys is heavy because it is big as Ganymede and Osiris is small for a gas or ice giant. Nephthys has a color scheme of Callisto's. However Nephthys is not a real moon. Nephthys has gas, metal and water. Let's find some. However it is hard to find gas so I will skip gas. I Fion only found a metal and water hotspot combined. <laughs> Time to make the base. That was very easy. This is a good place to colonize and has a great view of Osiris. However Nephthys has a secret that includes explosive cridges. Nephthys has red matter, I hope you bring in a lean processor. There is still a way to get back to the solar system. Bruh. I 
hate how I am so in love with collecting red matter. However, is Proxamia Centauri worth it colonizing? I am going to tell you guys what my ideas are for Proxamia. I am thinking of adding plants on Knemu, and also adding animals on the planet as well. There should be a way to get an alien processor and more things in Proxamia for the alien processor. I think Hathor can be terraformable and maybe have plants and animals. Please add this Alphium if you're watching the video. Comment down below on what your ideas are. In conclusion, I think Proxamia Senatori is worth colonizing. Like and subscribe for more videos. Watch more videos on the channel.